got a lot of requests to talk about dwarfism in cats, so let's talk about it. Of course, this is gonna involve DNA and genetics, so you know, I'm all here for it. Dwarfism in cats can happen a few different ways. Hormonal deficiencies, growth plate abnormalities, or selective breeding, such as the munchkin cat. We're a cat shelter, and I've never seen a munchkin cat here. But this is Tati, who was adopted last year, and while she was not officially a dwarf cat, she seemed real gosh dang close. Pituitary dwarfism happens when the pituitary gland in the brain does not form or function correctly. Normally, the pituitary gland secretes growth hormones, so if the gland is damaged or doesn't develop properly in utero, growth will be stunted. Congenital hypothyroidism is another example of hormonal dwarfism in cats. Congenital means present since birth, and hypothyroid indicates abnormally low levels of thyroid hormones, which are important in the development of the skeletal and nervous system. Thankfully, this is actually treatable with lifelong supplements. Now, certain cats are specifically bred to be dwarfs, but there can be health consequences to this breeding practice, and some national and international feline groups do not recognize or support the breeding of dwarf cats because they feel it's unethical to intentionally breed deformity into a cat. The most common health problems in munchkin cats are lordosis, a condition that causes the spine to dip down and can be fatal, and pectus excavatum, or a concave chest. Munchkin breeders argue that normal-sized cats are also susceptible to these conditions, but vets have found correlation between these health problems and the genetic mutation. I'd be curious to hear what you think about it. Is it cruel or is it harmless? For more cat facts, make sure you tap over here. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else we want to know more about.